friends today I want to show you a new little capture card I got from Amazon and so this was their recommended capture card for getting an HDMI signal out of a source like a GoPro or a uh, like a DSLR I used a Sony so far I've used a Sony a6500 and a6600 with this it says Basicolor is the name of the comp company it says Video capture card USB 3. I want a USB 3 one. It says zero latency on it. That's what it looks like. Uh, they did not. I did not get this for free. This is not a uh, paid thing or anything. I did buy this one, and uh, it's the first one that I've bought. I mean, I've been trying different ways to do streaming, uh, you know, using DSLR so it doesn't look like a webcam. And I have to say the uh, results of this are really well. I'm going to narr narrate a little video that I shot at, at an event that I did. I did a graduation for, um, for our, our graduating medical residents and fellows at the hospital. It's a public video, so I don't feel bad talking about it. You can go there and look at it. It's live on our website. Matter of fact, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video so you can go see how it turned out. You'll see that some of the video was shot with a webcam and it looks like a webcam. <laughs> I had three cameras set up and then I had one was the an A6500. I had the next, the previous night I had shot one or the previous day I had shot one with an A6600 with a better lens on it but I had to let my uh, cousin borrow my cameras. I had the better lenses. I didn't use the best lens I had on this. And it's a bit it's a bit of a of a kind of a cool mess to watch but if you want to see how it looks just how the video turned out you can see you'll be able to very easily know which one was shot with the DSLR let me show you the video setup that I had I'll go ahead and put this on the screen while we talk about it I'm gonna hit play you can see I had my um, my iMac this is the same iMac that I use as a late model 2019 uh, you know, November 2019. There is the Sony A6500, and it was shooting at the podium, which you see in the background there. I used Behringer B2 Pro uh, mics to get the audio. You'll see I've got another tripod set up over there. Here is a webcam sitting on the table on a little tripod. So I had one that kind of shot left, right, wide. Uh, that's the that's the capture card there beside that Diet Coke thing. And here's the other webcam, which I had kind of sitting up high since most of the people be approaching from that direction. There is, of course, the uh, how the A6500 looked. I was using Streamlabs OBS. So I was using a Focusrite uh, audio device, which is what I always use to get my audio in. And right there again is the, the video device. Uh, and so I'm shooting that. And that's what I did. I went uh, HDMI out from the Sony into that. And then uh, USB 3 out and into Streamlabs OBS. And that's the program you're seeing there. And you see, I had probably six or seven scenes set up. It was kind of a complicated little setup there that I had. Sorry for the really bad video. That was me shooting with my cell phone. But here I'm showing the various different scenes that I have. So you had a left and a right cam. That's how the webcams looked. I had a PowerPoint that I had to go into. You know, and I was able to switch. I'm uh, showing show you how I'm switching to PowerPoint. So it, wasn't, it was a PowerPoint that I had to open in Microsoft presentation or whatever it's called. Uh, a keynote, I guess keynote. They also had a video from our president CEO and a video from a, surge, a former Surgeon General. I think this is a former Surgeon General. And that's the whole look that we had. Again, I will put a link to the video so you can go there and look at it and see how I set up my Streamlabs by just pausing this video. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was pretty complicated. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is this functioned really well. Uh, it says zero latency. I haven't 100% tested that. I'm probably going to try doing a stream tonight, maybe, and I'll, I'll, I'll hook my Sony, probably the A6600 up with a wide uh, lens. I'd like to buy another one of these um, so I could hook, you know, compare different cameras. It'd be neat to be able to show what a GoPro looks like and have a GoPro plugged into one of these, or, you know, it would be kind of be able to, cool to be able to do two cameras at least for a streaming event and uh, get really high quality video. But I just want to say, real quickly, nice piece of kit not bad you've got your you know your hdmi in from here you take your mini hdmi or whatever other hdmi output you got might have to buy a cable you know to make sure that it matches but it goes in here um your that's a that's a hdmi through there in case you want to go to a monitor or television screen or something to be able to see it so i didn't use that and wasn't any reason to i went in here i came out from the usb so you have to have a usb mail usb3 to a usb mail that goes into your computer you can buy those on amazon it came with one actually so this one did come with that kind of cable 
And it did. It worked flawlessly. I'll say good job to Basic Color. I'm sure this is probably just a generic kind of thing, but it was. It's about 99 bucks on Amazon, not expensive. So you don't have to go out and spend 200 bucks on a webcam. It's going to look crappy if you've got a really good uh, DSLR or a GoPro or something that has an HDMI out on it. It'll look a whole lot better that way. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.